Hi there guys, uh, welcome back. I hope everyone's doing all right. So recently I've been trying to make this video on urban pike fishing around my house and the area I live. Oh my gosh, guys, guys, it's a monster. It's been windy and rainy like for the last week. So I've had to postpone that. I bought a trap in here for crayfish and hopefully gonna be doing some trapping uh, deeper inside of the wood today. Grab the bike and uh, We'll head out onto the bike trails and just make our way into the woods. Right next to the bank here, there's a lot of shrubbery and a lot of little bushes, uh, which provides a little bit of an overhang. And I reckon right under here is where there's most likely to be some crayfish. This is the trap, guys. It's the same trap that I used in the uh, video where I trapped crayfish at the bottom of my garden. Uh, seemed to work really well back then. I caught seven overnight. So I'm hoping over three days or four days, I might be able to catch one or two if they're in here. A uh, hundred pound test fishing line. This is back from the trawling days when I was living in Africa, uh, which I don't use very much anymore. It used to be what we used for trace, but uh, since I'm not doing that kind of fishing, I have it spare and I'm going to use it to tie the uh, trap to the bank so that I can find it when I come back. In case you didn't watch the other video, it's got two entrances. A uh, place for bait and a place where you can take the fish in and out. Very cheap, very effective. I have a couple of things for bait. So this is what I'm going to put in the little bait holder. And that is a mixture of dog food and a little bit of ham as well. And i got this little fish here, which uh, I caught on a fishing trip about two months ago with my dad. Yeah, there it is. That's the that's the one that I was on about. Oh, Look, right. it's not bad, eh? That's not bad at all. <laughs> Trying to figure out how, how it's on here. I can't get this out very well. I might have to keep it. And unfortunately, it was the only fish we caught that day, so I never made it into a video. But uh, the poor fish was hooked really badly, so I uh, kept him, and I was gonna eat him, never got around to it. So instead, I'm gonna put him to use and use him in this trap. All right, so now, we got the top bit with the dog food and the ham and then underneath it we got the fish chunks so uh, I'm just going to drop it in right here hopefully come back in three days and have some crayfish in it just going to bury the line a little bit uh, pack my stuff up and return in three days see you then Alright guys, so it's been three days since I set the trap up here, uh, just down there in the canal and uh, the weather was horrible this morning but it looks like I finally caught a break, the sun has come out which means I'm going to go check my trap after three days and hopefully there'll be something in it. I actually found an easier way to get to the trap than the way I went before. There's loads of dark clouds up there so I think I have to be fast. Whew. It is definitely a better day than the last time. All right, moment of truth. Is the line still there? Yes, it is. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, okay. Take a look 
at that. All right, guys. Take a look at that. You. Yeah. So that was obviously successful. We've got about 16 uh, in the trap. So just so you guys know about these crayfish, they are an invasive species from the US called red swamp crayfish or Louisiana crayfish. So they're not native to these waters and they are in fact destroying the natural ecosystems around here. So taking them out, if anything, is helpful. All right, so there you go, a full box of crayfish. Yum. <laughs> All right guys, uh, we've made it back home. It seems like it's not gonna rain, so that's all right. I got the crayfish over here in this big tub. Got one, two, three, and 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Alright guys, I uh, came outside because the lighting's a little better. Alright, pretty much, this is the final product that I got. Uh, these are the 11 sort of liveliest crayfish out of the 17 that I caught. So I've boiled them up and uh, yeah, I don't usually cook them. I've only done it once or twice before and you actually saw the crayfish video that I did before. But um, we're going to give it a go. I know I'll get a lot more off that, but uh, I just wanted to try it quickly for you. What? It's actually quite nice. I wasn't expecting that much from it. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna have to go inside and eat it because the dog's annoying. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video uh, from today. They taste reasonably fishy, but. Um, not in a bad way. So uh, I think with a little bit of butter and a little bit more sauce and stuff, I could get them to taste pretty nice. So I'm gonna leave it there, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I went up to the north of Holland about two months ago and uh, I didn't do any fishing, but I shot some really cool uh, drone footage. So I think I'll leave you with that and uh, see you in the next video.